Hey guys, how you doing? It's um, Hitman23, and I'm here to do a little tutorial video. Um, I've been setting um, setting up my binders um, a lot lately and getting them organized and reorganized. It's, you know, it's a constant thing. So what I decided to do in some of my binders where there are smaller size cards or cards that don't really fit in the, in the pockets as well is... Um, I do a couple of things. I, I put the smaller cards in a um, in a um, in a perfect fit um, single card sleeve, and then what I do is I get some uh, card stock. I get black card stock, and I cut a, a size of the pocket and put it behind it so it makes it look really nice in the binder, so you don't see through um, the parts around the card that aren't covered by the card. So I'm, I'm going to show you what I do. So. So uh, my explanation is kind of garbled, but you'll see what I, what, what, what I mean in a second here. So what I do is, and I'll give you my example in my Donnie uh, binder. Let me flip the phone around here. I uh, hope everybody's having a nice New Year's Eve. I was uh, blessed with having today off, so I have a nice four-day weekend again. And uh, here we go. So let me flip the phone, and you'll see right here. These are the... Um, you know, the tops minis from the 80s and all those type of things. So basically, you know, you put them in a nine pocket page and they kind of slide around and they don't look as good when you can see through them. So what I do is the first thing is I put the cards in a, uh, the perfect fit sleeves or a superior fit now, as you, as we call them. Um, they sell these, you know, single card sleeves that are, you know, resealable. I just um, slip the card in there and I fold it over where the card ends and then the, the seal goes on the back. So I actually slide them down into, um, or I'm sorry, I slide them up into the, um, into the sleeve and then fold the thing from the bottom up. And then I do is I get some, some black card stock. I got this at Michael's. It was like oh, 10 bucks for like a gazillion of them. Got that. And then you gotta get yourself one of these. It's really important to have a, a, a paper cutter because you wanna you know, use the guides and make them nice and neat. And uh, that, that does it really well. And this is like a $20 paper cutter. So um, it's fun too. It's, you know, it's a fun little project. And I just cut the size, you know, um, of, the, of the cardstock to the size of the pocket. And then I slip in the card. Like, whoa, you got to put it in front, Mike, not behind. <laughs> and there we go. And you can see it works really nice. And I think it looks really good with the black backgrounds. Uh, makes the cards pop a little bit. And this way now you don't see through to the other side. And then here's some more. And then here's some more here. And I do the same thing for the coins. Uh, I'm going to try to pick up some more of these coin holders um, for these coins. But until I do, I just put these in a little tobacco uh, the tobacco card um, penny sleeves and just fold it over and tape it so it's the there's it's nice and uh, secure and you can see there these are even this is even a smaller size card than the top some um, minis from the 80s so that looks pretty cool and then you can do you know the disc cards and all that stuff I just think it looks nice and you can see where I don't have a card right now and there's a blank space and you can see through to the other side so I don't know it looks I didn't like the way that looked so that's what I will be doing with all my minis. And then for the tobacco size cards, for anything really small like these Topps Micros, I just cut tobacco sized inserts out of my cardstock and slipped them behind. I'm gonna do one more here. And, uh, and that's it guys. I just wanted to come on and uh, give a quick little uh, collecting tip. And uh, hopefully um, you'll like my idea. Um, and that's it, that's my video. It's a four minute video, go figure. So hope everybody has a safe, uh, safe night tonight. Um, enjoy yourselves. Let's, it's like I said in my last video, let's get 2020 out of here and bring on the new year. Hope everybody has a happy, healthy, prosperous new year in 2021. Um, good stuff with your families and your careers and your lives and your collections and all that good stuff. So uh, I will see you guys on the next video. Take care. Happy New Year. And may the cardboard God shine down upon each and every one of you. Later. Peace. Boo-bye.